Funko Rogers, it's me, the Funko Master. Today is Funko Friday, and that means the weekly roundup. Uh, <clears throat> I did get a lot of pops because I did go to SDC, uh, no, Boston Comic Con BCC, um, which I think that they're going to start getting exclusive pops next year because uh, they're making exclusive pops for Fam uh, Expo in Canada. And Boston Comic Con is now owned by Fan Expo, so I have a feeling they might get bought out. I mean, I mean that they'll they'll make st they'll start making pops for Boston Comic Con within the next few within the next few years. I hope so because come on, I mean, who doesn't want you know an exclusive pop set in their own you know state? Anyways. Uh, I did get a lot of pops at the con. I did get a lot of comic books, too. I was going to get a hot toy, but I got the pops, and I got the comic books, and they were a little expensive, so I passed on the hot toy. I'll have to get a newer one, maybe. I don't know. Within the next few weeks. But, uh, yeah. So, I did meet two celebrities. Uh, not one, but the other one, like, the... the girl in front of me, she kept talking to him, and I was just like, are you kidding me? I can't talk to him now. But whatever, I was, I was gonna get jittery anyway, so I didn't meet, meet Jeff Goldblum. And like, they, they said that if you pay an extra $5, you could get a, an autograph, I mean, an autograph and a selfie. An autograph itself is $80, which is actually not that bad when you look at, you know, all the other like, I paid 80 bucks to meet Shawn Michaels. So that's not the worst. I, but then again, I met AJ Styles for free. So, I uh, don't just, it, it depends. But, yeah, man, I'm pretty happy I got this autograph. I mean, I can't make out Jeff Goldblum, but, yeah. Uh, but I, said, I just said thank you, and he's like, no, no, thank you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, and then next up, I did meet... An actress. Um, she was in Lost. She was in The Hobbit. She was in Ant Man and the Wasps, and she is Wasp. I am right. She was so nice. She's one of the nicest celebrities I've ever met. Pro another nice one I met was probably the guy that played Jason from Part Two, fr fr uh, Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, just because he gave me two autographs. But, uh, for the price of one, but Hacksaw Jim Duggan was pretty nice, um, DDP was nice, J Jimmy Hart was really nice too, and, uh, Rob Van Dam was nice, uh, Sebastian Stan was extremely nice as well, and, uh, Charlie Cox, the guy that plays, uh, Daredevil, so, but yeah, she, she was so nice, and she seemed so lovely, I guess you could say, I kinda got flustered, I was like, oh, god, and, like, I just told her that, I, I watched Ant-Man, I liked it, I didn't really know her, and then I watched Lost, and I was very happy to see her kicking ass in uh, um, Ant-Man and the Wasp. But yeah, so I met her, and she was walking around Boston Commons, so I, like, I, I asked her, and she said, like, Boston's such a great city, and I, I was like, yeah, it is. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let's get into the pops, I didn't pull out the comic books just because this is not really a comic book thing but uh, anyways I did pick up uh, uh, Black Widow from Walmart at four dollars and fifty cents again I don't know why they're doing this but uh, I'm happy that I got this pop so now all I really want is Cap the other two Black Orders guys so, Corvus Glaive, I don't know, and Ebony Ma, and then I'm going to pass on Groot and the Hulkbuster. So, one, two, three, four. I think I'd rather get the Groot from Toys R Us, but I saw it, passed on it, nah, I can't get it, anyways. She doesn't have a little damage, you know, right there. It's actually not the worst thing ever, but still, pretty cool pop. She's not gonna go up in value or anything anytime soon, so I'm not too worried about it, but, uh, now, let's 
Well, I'll show you the card stuff after I show you what I got at Walgreens last night. I was extremely happy to find this. This was the last one there. I've been looking all over the place for this pop. Um, I was going to do a trade for it. I had a chase. I still have it, but the trade fell through. I got Coal Obsidian. The box is not the greatest. Like, there's like a little thing right there, and I'm like, this is a little dirty and it's kind of flaring out. So, I don't know. It's like, it's, a, it's a still a pretty mint box, but this guy is awesome. I thought, you know, this guy would be in a bigger box. When I saw, you know, I saw the head, very unique looking, and I was like, oh shit. And it was, it's in a normal box. I mean, it's pretty insane how they squeezed it in here. I, I that's just awesome. I love this pop. I think it's awesome. So I'm going to get the other two, um, and then I'm going to review the Children of Thanos um, in a set, like in a video. So uh, the other two will be used again. I'm not worried about that, but I got Proxima Midnight for 450 so that's pretty cool. Anyways, I did get one more from Walmart for uh, 450 but, of course, it's at the bottom of the pile I made. So, I did pick up Shell from Portal 2. I absolutely love this game. This game, probably one of my top 10 favorite ga video games of all times. I'd really have to sit down and think about it. I'm definitely on there. GTA Mafia 2, GTA by Mafia 2, Call of Duty Black Ops, um... Although I like the Black Ops 2 multiplayer better, but that's not the point. Um, what else? Like, I, Portal 2, obviously. Batman Arkham City. Um, I can't think of any right now. Assassin's Creed. But yeah, I'm pretty happy to get this. I do want to pick up the other two from multiplayer. But I don't know uh, if I'm going to get the turret. The turret looks pretty lame. Uh, if I find it for a decent price, like half off, I'll probably get it. But the other two I do really want, uh, Peabody and Atlas. Because you do play those guys in multiplayer, so. Happy to get that. And, uh, I did complete a set here. I got, let's just see the first part of me now, but I got Benny from the Sandlot. Really cool looking pop. Very simple, but I like the pose he's in. The pose is very cool. And then I got Smalls. Do we ever learn their real names? I forget. I watched it recently, but I it's like I completely forget. But this is when it was in the beginning of the game. In the beginning of the game. In the beginning of the movie when he was just wanted to join them and they were all making fun of him, but Benny gave him a chance. Um, very cool scene, and he has the black guy, because his stepdad was, uh, you know, like, anyways, uh, and then I got, go oh, out of order, and then I got Ham, you're killing me, Smalls, yeah, Bay Ruth, <laughs> but, uh, this pop's really cool, he's got the cleft chin and everything, yeah, it's just, it's just a really cool pop, I like the pose he's in as well. His, I, I mean, I, I would have liked it to see his eyes was squinting, because that's the, you know. And finally, to get Squint. Like, he's an okay character. He's probably my least favorite from uh, the group, except for maybe Yaya and the two brothers that always say the same thing. That's just annoying. But, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, so. <laughs> <coughs> But yeah, and this is like the a pretty basic pose. So yeah, you got those, and then I'm sure the one I'm very excited about last. But I did also pick up uh, the Medium Invaders, Space Invaders. This is honestly, I, I okay, so. Loot Crate once sent, like, a vital figure of uh, a medium invader. 
And I said, I hope they make pops out of these. But then I'm thinking, it's just, it's gonna be the exact same thing. Um, it's gonna be pointless. But they made it. And, I, I mean, I, I'm glad they did. But, I mean, come on. It, it doesn't even look like a pop. I don't know. And, like, you can't do the machine because the thing that, you know, shoots it. Because most of the, like, when I... Oh, this is in the 8-bit line. Huh. I thought it was in the game line. Anyways, yeah, so 8-bit does fit the, the role better. But I love the back of the box, too. I don't know, man. Like, I... I love that they made it, but it just seems a little odd. You know, it's like... It's not really a pop, but... So, yeah. Happy I got that. I'm surprised it's in the 8-bit line, but... I guess the 8-bit line is, does have some video games stuff in it, but... Anyways. And last but not least, you guys may not give a crap about this, but I absolutely loved the show. This show was hilarious, very sweet, very easy to watch. Um, I finished it recently. They just finished this year. Yeah, this year. Like, earlier this year. And I was kind of sad because the last season was very short. When usually it's like 20 episodes. It's a sitcom. And this is this could make top 10 pops of the year, in my opinion. I do have to, you know, go through each... Like, what I think could be, like, definitely some Stranger Things ones. Um, Walking Dead, maybe, and definitely some Marvel Pops and Star Wars. But this is Jess. Oh, my God, I absolutely love this pop. This pop looks awesome. Holy shite. Oh, my God. I think it looks exactly like her. Uh... I, I just love the show. Not the best paint apps I'm noticing, like, towards the top, but honestly, I just, I'm so happy I picked this up. I did kick it a little bit, because it was in a bag and had a lot of shit in it, so I did kick the top, but it's not too bad. It's like, it's just a little crease, but oh my god, this pop's awesome. I, uh, I wish they made Winston and uh, Coach, because the Winston pop looks like Coach, but... I'm surprised they put Nick as the last one. They should have put him as the second one. But, yeah, man. I'm so happy they made the, uh, these. Now, all I want is Cheers, Frasier, and How Do You Mother from shows. And then for movies, I want Jaws. I was going to say Jurassic Park, but they already made those. So, I mean, if you make Jurassic Park, you got to make Jaws. It's like... Uh, but Jaws, what else? Um, honestly, they could make anything because they made Black Phillip from uh, The Witch. And that's like very vague. I, I mean, I started watching it, but it was just like so medieval. I'm like, oh, God. But um, Terminator. Terminator. I would love to see some Terminator pops. Um... We got Robocop. Um, I don't know. I think. Just make some Terminator pops, please. Please. Sarah Connor. Like, how about this? You make a Terminator po uh, pop line, but you put part one and part two in it. You know, techno noir, uh, the police shootout, police station shooting, <laughs> Sarah Connor, Reese. And then you go to Terminator 2, uh, John Connor, T-1000, uh, the T-800 too, I meant the other way around. And then maybe, a uh, prison, like, mental <laughs> institution, Sarah Connor. I don't know, I just really want to see those pops. How about your mother? These are my number one. Because they made friends! How do you make friends and not how, you, how about your mother? By the way, guys, before I wrap up. Check out New Girl. It is on Netflix. And check out How I Met Your Mother. It's on Hulu. Uh, they took out How I Met Your Mother from Netflix, which sucks because it's such a good show. Um, honestly, I'm re-watching Friends right now, so I can't really say. I was going to say I like How I Met Your Mother a little bit more than Friends. 
now that I'm rewatching Friends and noticing how good it is, I'm proud. I'm just, like number one's Frasier. Number one's Frasier for me. Number two's Friends. How I Met Your Mother. Uh, I I made a top top five list with Jake, but I could really change it now. I could change it to fucking. I could put Parks and Rec in there. Um, oh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia. Like I feel like, like I put that in my. I think I put that as four. But the thing is, like they, they, they're gone for a long time before they come back, and it's just so annoying. And they don't even do that many episodes. They, they're going on their like, I think their fourteenth season. I might be overshooting it, but they might be going on their fourteenth season, thirteenth, and they only do like. 12 episodes per season, which sucks, because it's like, we won't see more. But I guess that's the thing, like, maybe if we saw too many, uh, we, we get tired of it. Anyways, yeah, so I did get some mystery minis too, by the way. I paid three bucks for each mystery mini, which is not a bad deal, in my opinion. Um, but I did get some repeats, so I do have Chewy, Beckett, and no, that's fine. And BB-8 for trade. So if you wanna hit me up and I'll do a trade. So I do have a bunch more, but those are just the three I have over here. Anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. Please uh, like this video, leave a comment. Uh, what are you hunting this weekend? I'm hunting for nothing because I'm going to Six Flags. So. Um, yeah, so make sure you just subscribe to see a lot more content. I am posting a lot of things that I don't even know when to post. Um, like, I have two... I, have, I just spoiled the unboxing. That's great. I got these in the uh, mystery box. Mystery mini unboxing. I shouldn't have shown it, but whatever. Um, so, you can check those out. Check out what else I got. Uh, I feel so dumb now, like, I just showed, I just spoiled a video I haven't even posted yet, anyways. Uh, and then check out, um, I, I did, I posted the Ghost Rider review, I posted, I have, I have a bunch of reviews to post for this channel, so, pretty happy about that, but make sure you check it out, and I'll see you guys in the next video, subscribe to become a fucking monster, and have a good weekend, peace, thanks for watching, bye!